Farmer Fred here. After I finished doing all that learning about measurement with capacity and and uh, and length and and weight, you know, heavy and light, it got me to thinking. It got me to thinking about different measurable attributes that objects have. And I was wondering if you could use those measurable attributes like capacity and length and, and, and weight, you know, heavy and light. I was wondering if you could use those measurable attributes to compare different objects. So I thought it would be fun to investigate. So I got me some bins to, to measure and to explore the different measurable attributes. Well, here I've got a, a bin right here, and then I'm going to use my trusty toolbox. Now first, let's see about length. Let's see if we can use length to compare both of these objects. Let's see if they both have length as one of their measurable attributes. Well, remember back when I was using length to compare objects and see which ones I could fit in my, in my trusty toolbox? Let's go back and think about it. All right, so let's go ahead and get these blocks out and try to measure the length of both of these objects. Remember what we said about length, measuring length. When we're using objects to measure length, we've got to line them in a, up in a straight line with no gaps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and about a half. So the toolbox was seven and a half. Seven and a half blocks. Now let's measure the, the other bin. All right, now we're ready to measure the length of the bin. Now we gotta do it the same way by having a starting point right on the edge. And then we're gonna line them up in a straight line. Now we don't wanna have any gaps Remember, when we're measuring length, we don't want gaps between our blocks. All right, so here we go. And then a little bit more. Let's see what we got here. One, two, three, and a little bit more, about a half. So that tells us that the bin is three and a half blocks long. And the tool chest was seven and a half blocks long. What did you figure out from that? You're right, the tool chest is longer than the bin because seven and a half is more than three and a half. Y'all are smart as whips. We were able to use length to compare the tool chest and the bin. Now let's see if we can use weight to compare them. Well, let's remember how we were exploring heavy and light. So you remember how we explored heavy and light? We found out that when something is heavy, it's hard to move it. It's too heavy to move. But when something is light, it's easy to move. Let's see if we can use the measurable attribute of weight, heavy and light, to compare the tool chest and the bin. First, let's try the tool chest. Let's see if we can move the tool chest. All right, here we go. I'm gonna give it a real good push. One, two, Three. Oh, all right. Let me let me try one more time. All right. I use all my 
Hold my strength. Here we go. One, two, three. Oh. Oh. Well, there you have it. The dual chest is too heavy to move. All right, now, now let me see what happens when I try to move the bin. Uh, let's see. All right, I'm gonna use all my strength to move the bin and see if the bin is heavy or if the bin is light. Here we go. One, two, three. Oh, oh my. Did you see that? The bin moved easily. I was able to move that bin with no problem. That means the bin was lighter than the tool chest. Woo! The tool chest was heavier than the bin. So there you go. We were able to use the measurable attribute of weight, heavy and light, to compare the bin and the tool chest. Let's see, what's next? Oh, capacity. Do you remember about capacity? Here, let me refresh your memory. Are you ready to see if we can measure the capacity of this tool chest? Remember, capacity is how much something can hold. Why well, have a, a bin here that's full of my blocks? This bin has 50 blocks in it. And I'm wondering if the tool chest can hold all 50 blocks. We're gonna have to fill it up and check it out. Now for the last two. Well, there you have it. The chest was big enough. It had enough capacity to hold all 50 blocks. Now I'm wondering if the bin is going to be able to hold the same amount or more than the tool chest or less than the tool chest. What do you think? Let's investigate. That's it. The bin. This is all the bin will hold. If I put any more in the bin, it would overflow. That means the bricks would start to spill out. Do you think that I, I have more bricks still in the chest that I wasn't able to put in the bin? Let me show you. Well, there you go. There are still blocks in the tool chest. These blocks would not fit in the bin. If I tried to put them in the bin, the bin would overflow. So what does that tell you about the capacity of the tool chest compared to the capacity of the bin? Well, there you go. We found out that the tool chest has more capacity than the bin. The bin has less capacity than the tool chest. So the tool chest holds more and the bin holds less. Well, hot diggity. This measuring investigation helped us learn a lot. We found out that some objects have the same measurable attributes. That means that we can use the measurable attributes to compare objects. When we compared the tool chest with the bin, we were able to compare length, we were able to compare weight, 